Welcome back. A state lawmaker plans to file a bill that would change Missouri's invasion of privacy law. The new law would require repeat offenders convicted of invasion of privacy to register as a sex offender. ABC 17's Layla Mitchell is live in the newsroom after speaking with two state representatives about changing the law. Layla, this change has ties to a local Columbia case that we've been following for years. Deb Lucas, Ronald Dameron, a convicted felon known for looking up women's skirts, was recently sentenced to two years probation after pleading guilty to seven invasion of privacy charges. Now Dameron is once again out of jail and is not on the sex offender registry, but two lawmakers are working to change that. The current invasion of privacy law said that a person invades another's privacy if they knowingly take a photo or video of another person without consent. If the person is fully or partially nude and is in a place where privacy is expected. The law does not require someone to register as a sex offender unless they meet these requirements. Ronald Dameron, a Columbia man known for trying to take pictures of women's skirts, has been committing these crimes for a decade. Dameron was charged 11 times since 2009 and has been in and out of jail, but is not a registered sex offender. One lawmaker and former sex crimes prosecutor is working to file a bill to change that. Those cases where someone's evading privacy for their own personal sexual gratification, it needs to be a registrable offense. But Wes Rogers worked on a similar case 10 years ago in Kansas City. Someone was just chronically, you know, peeping into to women's changing rooms and it was terrifying people. It caused a lot of trauma and there wasn't much we could do. Rogers, inspired by these two cases, is now working to add sexual gratification language to the bill. Uh, you just need to narrowly tailor that so that someone who's invading privacy for sexual gratification would end up on the sex offenders list. Republican State Representative Chuck Basie also plans to work on the bill with Rogers. We need to uh, enhance the penalties involved in this situation. Any victim is uh, uh, you know, they, everybody deserves justice and we need to address this. And I, I'm pretty confident uh, after this conversation that we're going to do something. Told me he plans to file the bill in the next few weeks. Reporting live in the newsroom, Layla Mitchell, ABC 17 News.